So find some grounding through your sit bones, find some length through your spine, space in between your shoulders, space in your heart. Lengthen through the back of your neck, draw up through the crown of your head, and then close your eyes. And then right off, if there's any little movements that your body is calling for, feel free to just move around a little bit. So maybe just exploring some movement through your upper body, through your spine, your shoulders, your neck. Anything that feels good, anything your body needs as it's waking up this morning. And then as you're ready, just really settle into stillness. Start to notice your breath, the rise and fall. Notice the expansion and contraction of each inhale and each exhale. And then take a moment to notice that no matter what is going on outside of the space you are in, right here, right now, on your yoga mat, in your body, everything is okay. You are safe, you can relax, you can just be here fully. So start to notice what creates this present moment where you are. So sounds, smells, sensations. Notice energetically how your body feels. Notice emotionally how you feel and how your body feels. And there is no right or wrong. There is nothing you need to change or fix. You are just noticing. And then next time you breathe in, fill up as big as you can. Hold at the very top in fullness. See if you can even sip in just a little bit more. And then when you're ready, big open mouth sigh, release out your mouth. Do that twice more. So inhale, fill up, hold in fullness. So feel that expansion, that spaciousness inside of you. Pause there. And when you're ready, open mouth sigh, let it go. Ha. Last time, so biggest inhale you've taken all morning long. Hold in fullness and any stress, anxiety, any overwhelm you feel like your body is holding. Big, huge exhale, side out, let it go. <sighs> Seal your lips and start to engage your ujjayi breath. Just in your own time, find your own internal rhythm, the rhythm of your breath. Make it as big as possible, as powerful and vibrant as possible. And see if you can stay soft. So as you create this power in your breath, stay soft through your outer body, through your outer shell. and then no rush whatsoever. But from here, we will eventually transition onto our hands and our knees. So tabletop position when you're ready. And then just start to explore movement. So any movement that calls to you. Cat cows, hip circles, child's pose, cobra, up dogs. You can go absolutely anywhere you want. It does not even have to be a official yoga posture. So you're just moving, you're just exploring your body and all the ways in which it's able to move. You're exploring how your body feels this morning. So always, or I should say almost always, nothing is always, <laughs> but almost always in my morning practice, my body feels a lot stiffer, a lot tighter. So. This should feel really nice if you just rolled out of bed, get your body moving, get your joints kind of oiled up. 
and then use your breath to do that, to create space inside of you, to ease the movement from within. I'm gonna say, give yourself about four or five more breaths here. This is so good for us to just move intuitively, move in the way our body is calling for. So give yourself a few more rounds, and then when you're ready, take it back to your downward facing dog. And then as you move into your dog pose, check in there. So pedal out your heels, shift your weight from side to side, move your hips around a little bit, explore the length in your spine. Maybe you want to keep a deep bend in both of your knees, or maybe you want to work your legs towards straight. Perhaps you want to pick up your toes and spread them apart. See how that feels. Perhaps you want to lift up to your fingertips and see if you can take some weight out of your hands. So use the strength in your shoulders and in your core to lift you. So big, deep breaths and just feel into your down dog today. See if you can lengthen more through your side bodies. See if you can strengthen more through your shoulders. See if you can feel a connection to your center. So like I always say, that invisible rope, it's attached to your belly button. Feel it pull up and tug back so you feel that lift coming from your center, that connection to your center. This is the place that you want to move from. So if you can figure out how to use your core in your yoga practice, it's gonna make everything so much easier. It will still be challenging, but it will be challenging in a whole new way, and that's more of the way we want to go for. So. Rather than just struggling through the practice, trying to keep up, trying to get into the poses, all of a sudden you're moving, you're flowing with it, and it's challenging because it's hard, the positions are hard for our body, but it doesn't feel like you're fighting against it. So just keep exploring, how can you be more efficient in your body? How can you use your breath? How can you use your core? How can you go deeper into yourself? to get more out of your practice every single time you step onto your yoga mat. Let's take one more big, huge inhale here. Push the ground away with your hands. Lift your hips super high. And then exhale, gaze to the top of your mat. Step, tiptoe, or hop, forward fold. One juba ride. Let's go straight into our halfway lift. Breathe in, lengthen out. Exhale, bow, fold in. Do that once more. Inhale, halfway lift. So crown of your head reaches forward, tops of thighs press back, sit bones broaden. Exhale, fold. And then from the press of your feet, come through your halfway lift and continue to rise all the way to stand. Inhale, stretch your arms to the sky, maybe even gaze up. Exhale, hands to your heart center. Flow with your breath. Inhale, high mountain. Exhale, slow dive. So take your time, traction out your spine, then fold in. Halfway lift as you breathe in. So create as much length as you can from the top of your head back to your hips. Exhale, bow, refold, draw your belly button in and up, crown of your head towards the ground, relax your neck. Now press into your feet, lead with your heart, rise to stand. Feel your back muscles hug around your spine as you reach your arms up, breathe in. Exhale, hands to heart center. One more time, just like that. Bring so much awareness into this half sun salute. Inhale, high mountain. Exhale, slow swan dive. So traction it out, take your time. Try not to rush. With your inhale, lift halfway. And with your exhale, let it go, fold. Take it all the way to empty here. Press into your feet, lead with your heart, reverse swan dive all the way up. Inhale, arms reach, full body stretch. 
Exhale, hands to heart center. All right, inhale, arms to the sky, and let's stretch into our side body. So your choice of side body stretch, upper body to the right, hips to the left. So you might grab your left wrist, you might bring your right hand to your right hip, you might interlace your fingers, steeple your index. So any variation you wanna take, just create space through your left side, breathe into your left side. Bring a little more weight into your left foot. Imagine you're creating a crescent moon shape with your body, so hips to the left as upper body goes to the right. Take one more round, see if you can stretch and reach a little further. Inhale, come back through center, realign your spine, arms to the sky, and then exhale, other side, your variation. So hips to the right, upper body to the left, big deep breaths. Send your breath down your right side body. So the space in between your ribs, those are your intercostal muscles. They don't get very much attention. So start to really wake them up, stretch them out. I remember when I first started practicing yoga on a regular basis, I would always get sore in between my ribs. And I love that because it means I'm waking up these new muscles that I'd forgotten about for years and years. Take one more full breath, reach. Inhale, come back to center, arms to the sky, and then let's get into our shoulders. Exhale, hands behind your back, interlace your fingers. So open up through the front of your shoulders, open up through the front of your heart. Shoulder blades hug your spine. If you can, start to reach your hands back away from your body without locking out your elbows. Nice job. And then if you want a little bit more, reach your knuckles down and lift your heart up. Press your hips gently forward, but keep a tone through your low belly. So imagine you're squeezing a block in between your inner thighs. Take one more big inhale here. Keep your hands clasped and exhale. Hinge out your hips, dive down, forward fold. Stay here for about three or four breaths. So maybe you wanna bend your knees a lot. Keep your weight slightly forward in your feet, so more in your toes and the balls of your feet, less in your heels. Lift your butt, your sit bones as high as you can, and then lift your knuckles as high as you can. Relax your neck, let your head hang, maybe even shake your head yes or no. Take one more inhale. With your exhale, hands to your low back, release your clasp. Halfway lift, breathe in. So you can bring your hands to the fronts of your shins, your fingertips to the ground, up to you. Exhale, fold, plant your hands and step back to plank. So top of a push up, give yourself a moment to just be here and really find your strength. So push down with your hands, arms strong, shoulders strong. Draw your belly button in and up. And then see if you can find strength through the front of your thighs, through your quads. If you want to come down to your knees to modify, that's fine. Next time you inhale, rock slightly forward. So on your tippy, tippy toes. Exhale, lower halfway down. Try to keep your elbows stacked right over your wrist. Don't let your shoulders roll forward. Don't let your belly drop. Inhale, press back up. Do that one more time. Exhale, little rock forward, lower halfway. Inhale, press back up. And then this time we'll go all the way to our belly as slow as you can. So exhale, one strong straight line, take it all the way down. Let's start with a baby cobra. So lift your chest using the strength in your back rather than the strength in your arms. Elbow tips point straight back behind you. And then with your hands, rather than pushing down, try to pull back like you want to drag your body forward. Now press down through the tops of your feet, through your shoelaces, through your toenails. Press down through your pelvis, pull your belly button in and up, draw navel to spine. Feel the strength in your back body. See if you can roll your shoulders further down away from your ears. Back of your neck is long, so rather than gazing forward or up, gaze slightly down. Take one more inhale. With your hands, pull back as you press them down. So you're not pushing your hands down, you're pulling your hands back. Exhale, let it go. Spider-Man Cobra, hands come out wide, lift to your fingertips, elbows face the sky, lift your chest, breathe in. 
and exhale, twist to the right, dip your left shoulder down. Oh, that feels so good. Inhale, come back to center, lift your heart, tone your low belly. Exhale, twist to the left. Make sure your hands are wide and they're slightly out in front of your shoulders. Inhale, come back through center and go once more in each direction with your own breath at your own pace. Nice work, and on an inhale, you'll eventually come back to center. On an exhale, you can let it go lower down, and however you would like to get there, downward facing dog, take it back. So one more time, give yourself a few breaths, explore this pose with movement, explore this pose with stillness, if you want to turn it into a turbo dog, go for it. So the only thing that would change is your arms. Bend your elbows, squeeze them in towards each other. There's another variation of turbo dog that I never teach, but I do like it. It's called frog dog. So what you do is you grab the edges of your mat, you hold on to the edges of your mat, and then you try to pull them apart and then bend your knees and lift your butt higher. If you want to play with that, you're welcome to. Keep that lift in your sit bones, that lift coming from your belly button. Pull your mat apart like you're trying to break it, so you're pulling to the right and to the left. Bend your knees more, lift your butt higher, frog dog. Wherever you're at, take about two more rounds. Make sure you're not locking out your elbows if you're in frog dog, so keep your arms really strong, your muscles are working. If you are in turbo dog or frog dog, come back to your regular downward facing dog. Let's take one more big inhale. Exhale, look to the top of your mat, step, tiptoe, or hop, forward fold. Once you've arrived, spinal extension, big inhale to lengthen. Exhale, bow, fold. Root through your feet and take it all the way up. Inhale, stretch your arms up. Maybe gaze up. Exhale, hands to heart. Let's start to build our flow. Inhale, arms to the sky. We're going to mix it up today just so I can keep myself entertained. So pause here in your high mountain. Root down into your right foot. Float your left knee up into space, standing staff. So hug in with your inner thighs, flex your left toes, find your balance here. So maybe you focus your gaze on something in front of you that's not moving. It's your drishti, your focus point. And can you feel your breath? Can you relax through your face? Take one more inhale. And then as you exhale, airplane pose. So bring your left heel to your left butt cheek and then start to hinge at your hips. Reach your arms back and extend your left leg back. Think of a smiley face shape from the top of your head back to your toes. Hips stay square. Back muscles hug around your spine. Take one more round, your fullest expression. And then end of your exhale, crescent lunge. Step your left toes to the back of your mat and reach your arms to the sky. Soft landing if possible. Take a moment to settle in. Find stability through your legs. So energetically pull your front heel back, your back toes forward. So your right hip pulls slightly back, your left hip pulls slightly forward. Low abdominals are strong and toned. Chest is lifted. Arms are reaching and then your breath is there. Feel it move through you, soften through your face. Take one more inhale. And as you exhale, Turbo twist to the right, so bend your back knee, hover it above the ground, left arm forward, right leg back, twist from your center. So feel that ringing out sensation right underneath your ribs. Keep your weight nice and centered, so make sure you're not leaning forward or reaching forward. Get low in your legs, squeeze your inner thighs, possibly gaze back over your right fingertips, make sure you're not to strain your neck. Take two more rounds of breath, big spacious breaths. Use your exhales to work the twist. 
Now, next time you breathe in, unwind, arms to the sky, straighten your front leg, squeeze your inner thighs. Back leg powerful, back foot strong. See if you can engage through the front of your right quad. So you feel your right quad firing. It doesn't have to be like engaging like insanely, but it's strong, it's not loosey-goosey. Take one more big inhale. Exhale, cactus your arms. Stay here if you want, otherwise, little balance challenge. See if you can gaze up, create a little baby back bend. Bottom tips of shoulder blades, hug your spine. Belly stays strong, legs stay strong. One more round. Inhale, crescent lunge. Bend your front knee, reach your arms up. Exhale, hands come down. Front foot steps back, plank position. And then move through your vinyasa in your own way, however you want to take it. You can take an extra couple breaths in your back bend. You can add some push-ups. You can skip it all together. We'll see you back in down dog. And once you're back in your down dog, just reconnect to your breath. Fire it up. All right, with your next inhale, take your right leg to the sky. So right leg extends back and up, strength in your right leg, active through your right foot. Press forward and down through your hands as you reach your right leg even higher. Take one more inhale. Exhale, right knee to your nose, so scoop out your belly, hips are high. Stay here as you breathe in, push the ground away, high on your back, tiptoes, and then exhale, step your right foot through. We're going to go into standing splits. So right foot roots down, left leg floats up. Think of it as just a one-legged forward fold. So that's really all it is. Let your neck relax, let your head be heavy. You can take it wherever you want. So maybe right arm behind right leg. Maybe you want to play with some handstand pop-ups. So your pose, your expression, your choice if you want to keep your hips completely square or let your left hip open. Just make sure you're not getting lazy in your right hip. So your right inner thigh hugs in and your belly button lifts up, draws up that strength coming from your center. Take one more inhale, see if you can lift your left leg higher, spread through your left toes. Exhale, step your left foot down next to right at the top of your mat. Big toes touch. Tiny little potato bug ball, tuck and curl. So butt towards the ground, nose towards your knees, get small. You can keep your fingertips down to help with balance or wrap your arms around the fronts of your shins and give yourself a great big squeeze. Breathe into your back body. Stretch those back ribs with your inhales. As you exhale, find the deepest part of yourself, your very, very center. Draw your belly button back and up. It's what we call Uddiyana Bandha, our core lock. Take one more round here. Next time you inhale, spinal extension, halfway lift, so heels on the ground, spine parallel to the earth. Exhale, fold. Root through your feet and rise all the way up. Inhale, stretch your arms up. Now, pause here. Root into your left foot and lift your right knee, standing staff. Hug in with your inner thighs, tone through your low belly, flex through your right toes, and then find your focus point, your drishti. Slow, steady breaths, soften your face. Let's take just one more inhale. As you exhale, we'll move into our airplane. So right heel towards your right butt cheek, so just kind of swing your right leg back, then start that hip hinge. Arms reach back, right leg extend, so press back with your right foot. 
Use the strength in your inner thighs to lift your right foot level with your front shoulders. Use the strength in your back body. Squeeze your back muscles around your spine. Think of a little baby cobra in your heart. Take one more full round, your fullest expression. And up your exhale, crescent lunge. Right toes all the way to the back of your mat. Arms reach up. So hips square, inner thighs engage, they're squeezing in, left hip pulls slightly back, right hip pulls slightly forward, low abdominals are strong, chest is lifted, soft through your face, find your breath, feel your breath, take one more inhale, exhale, turbo twist to the left, so back knee bends and hovers, right arm forward, left arm back. Squeeze through your inner thighs, and then see if you can twist just a little bit more from the center of your body. Option to gaze back over your left fingertips, just make sure you're not straining your neck. Take two more rounds. Use your exhales to twist, twist, twist. Good job. End of your exhale. Unwind. Arms to the sky. Straighten your front leg. Squeeze your inner thighs. So back leg strong, back foot strong. See if you can fire up through the front of your left thigh. That quad muscle engages. Now cactus your arms. Stay here if you'd like, or add that little baby back bend. Bottom tips of shoulder blades squeeze in, chest lifts up, gaze up. Low abdominals stay strong, legs stay strong. Breathe. Take one more round. Inhale, come back into your crescent lunge. So front knee bends, reach up. Exhale, bring your hands to the ground. Step your front foot back, plank position, vinyasa your way. So feel free to add or subtract anything you'd like. We'll see you back in downward facing dog. Reconnect your big, strong, deep, ujjayi breath. Next time you inhale, left leg to the sky. Press up with your left foot, press down through your hands. So lots and lots of length. See if you can spread your left toes and maybe reach your left leg just a little bit higher. Take one more inhale, reach, extend, lengthen. Exhale, left knee to your nose, so scoop out your belly. Stay here, breathe in, push the ground away, and then exhale soft as you can. Left foot steps through, and we'll take our half, or excuse me, our standing splits are one-legged forward fold. So right leg floats up, spread your right toes. Relax your neck, let your head be heavy. Option to wrap left arm behind left leg, draw your forehead towards your shin. Option to plant your hands, and maybe even play with little handstand hops, just if it's in your practice and you wanna work on them. You do not ever have to arrive, you're just playing, you're just exploring. Breathe wherever you're at. Couple more rounds. Take just one more inhale, right leg high. And then exhale, tuck and curl. So right foot steps down next to left foot, big toes touch. Your little tiny potato bug ball. Fingertips on the ground or wrap your arms around the fronts of your shins. See if you can squeeze in with your inner thighs. So if you're like me and your knees want to go out to the sides, see if you can draw your knees in towards midline. Everything hugs in. Breathe. Last couple of rounds here. Next inhalation, halfway lift, spinal extension. Exhale, fold. Root through your feet and take it all the way up. Inhale, 
inhale, stretch your arms up. Exhale, hands to heart center. And now we will flow one breath, one movement. Inhale, arms to the sky. Lift your left knee up, standing staff. Exhale, move through airplane pose. So left leg back, arms back. Smiley face shape with your body. Inhale, crescent lunge, soft landing, arms reach. Exhale, turbo twist to the right, left arm forward, right arm back, back knee bends. Inhale, back to center, this time straighten your front leg, squeeze your inner thighs. Exhale, cactus your arms, maybe a little baby back bend, lift and open through your heart. Inhale, crescent lunge, bend your front knee. Exhale, hands to the ground, step your front foot back, keep that exhale going, chaturanga. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, lift your hips, downward facing dog. Big inhale, right leg to the sky. Exhale, and like you're stepping over something, right foot forward. Inhale, standing splits, left leg lift, spread your toes. Exhale, tuck and curl your little tiny potato bug ball. Empty all the way out. Inhale, lift halfway, lengthen your spine. Exhale, bow, fold in. Root through your feet, rise up. Inhale, arms reach up, right knee floats up. Exhale, move through airplane, right leg back, arms back. Think of that smiley face shape. Inhale, crescent lunge, soft landing. Exhale, turbo twist to the left, right arm forward, left arm back, back knee bends. Inhale, come back to center, straighten your front leg, squeeze your inner thighs. Exhale, cactus your arms, lift your heart, open up. Inhale, crescent, front knee bends. Exhale, hands come down, front foot steps back. Keep that exhale going, chaturanga. Inhale, curl open, back bend of your choice. Exhale, down dog, take it back. Inhale, left leg high. Soft as possible, exhale, left foot forward. Inhale, standing splits, right leg floats. Exhale, tuck and curl your little potato bug ball. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold in. Root through your feet, rise up. Inhale, stretch tall, both arms reach. Exhale, hands to heart. We've got one more round. Let's flow. Inhale, arms to the sky, left knee floats up. Exhale, airplane pose. Reach your arms back, reach your left leg back. Inhale, soft landing crescents. And as you exhale, turbo twist to the right. Empty all the way out. Inhale, back to center, straighten your front leg, squeeze your inner thighs. Exhale, cactus your arms, maybe open your heart. Inhale, back to crescent, bend your front knee, reach up. Exhale, hands come down, front foot steps back, keep that exhale going, chaturanga. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, lift your hips, downward facing dog. Great big inhalation, right leg high, lots of length. Soft as you can, right foot steps forward. Standing splits, breathe in, left leg float, spread your left toes. Exhale, tuck and curl your little tiny ball, get as small as you can, empty all the way out. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bow, fold. Root through your feet, lead with your heart, rise. Inhale, take your arms up and float your right knee up, standing stuff. Exhale, move through airplane. So 
So right leg back, arms back, chest slightly lifted. Inhale, land softly, crescent. Exhale, twist to the left, back knee bends. Inhale, back to crescent, this time straighten your front leg. Exhale, cactus your arms, little baby back bend, lift your heart, low abdominal, stay strong. Inhale, crescent lunge, front knee bends. Exhale, hands to the earth, step your front foot back, chaturanga, take it all the way down. Inhale, grow into your back bend. You're almost there. Exhale, downward facing dog, hips high, spine long. Inhale, left leg to the sky. With so much intention, exhale, left foot steps forward. Root into your left foot, inhale, right leg high, standing splits. Exhale, right foot comes down next to left. Now listen, go into your little tiny potato bug ball first. You can stay here, or we're gonna play with toe stand. Squeeze through your inner thighs, Direct your knees straight forward so your thighs are parallel to the ground. Squeeze in through your inner thighs and through your heels. Bring your hands to your heart center. Balance. Breathe. Soften your face. So feel the strength in your feet. All those little teeny tiny muscles. Strength in your ankles. Strength in your shins. Squeeze in with your inner thighs, feel the connection to center. Take about three more breaths. And I promise this is extremely difficult for me, so don't think that it's easy for me. It's a challenge. So if it's difficult for you, then you are perfect. Take one last round. End of your exhale. Fingertips to the ground, hips to the sky, so forward fold. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, plant your hands, step back, move through a vinyasa, and end up in hero's pose. So a regular kneeling position with your toes not tucked under. So we're not going into screaming toe pose, we're not stretching the soles of our feet, we're just relaxing, we're just sitting. If this is not going to work for you, this position, then you can take child's pose or any other position that you choose. So think of just a seated meditation. Close your eyes. Lengthen your spine, soften your shoulders. And just notice your breath. Notice the energy running through your body. So the energy that is always there, it's just harder to notice. Unclench your jaw, soften the muscles in your face. Give yourself about three or four more rounds here. See if you can make your breath bigger and more spacious. work my friends as you're ready we're going to meet on hands and knees so just a tabletop position so hands and knees wrists under shoulders spread your fingers nice and wide and push down with your hands knees under hips Draw your belly button in and up. So even just on your hands and your knees, you feel strong. You don't feel like you're sinking into your joints. You feel a connection to your center. Keep all of that, all that strength you've created, and take your right arm forward, your left leg back, spinal balance. So what seems like a simple posture, if you really pay attention, this is hard. Try not to, so you don't want a smiley face shape for this position. You want a strong straight line. So turn your palm to face in like you're going to shake somebody's hand. Reach forward and then press back through your left foot. Draw your belly button in and up. How much length can you create? Take one more big inhale. 
exhale, sit just your right hand down, pivot on your right knee, open up, left arm to the sky, modify it, side plank. Left leg is still active and strong. Take your left arm forward towards the top of your mat. Lengthen your left side body. Squeeze your outer right butt cheek and press your hips forward towards the left side of your mat. Stay here or final option, bend your left knee, reach back, grab hold of your foot. Kick foot into hand, pull hand back into foot and see if you can rotate your heart to look up at the sky. <sighs> Breathe down into your belly. Feel your back muscles hugging around your spine, supporting your spine. Take about two more rounds, two more deep breaths. And then very end of your second exhalation, release, unwind, come back to your hands and your knees. Lower down to your forearms for a dolphin pose. So if it's helpful in your setup, you can grab opposite elbows or opposite triceps. Forearms parallel, palms face down, fingers spread wide. Press down especially into your thumbs and your index. If you want a little less sensation, or I should say less intensity, interlace your fingers. All right, so before you lift your knees up, press down through your forearms really firmly. Imagine you've got a strap around your upper arms that's cinching in, so squeeze in with your upper arms with your elbows. Relax your neck, let your head hang, tuck your toes, now lift your knees and your hips, dolphin pose. You can stay in your regular dolphin, you're perfect as you are. Stay here and breathe, lift from your center. If you'd like, here's an option. Walk your feet out to the width of your yoga mat. And then take your left hand back to grab the outside of your left ankle. So left hand, left ankle. Keep pressing into the ground with the belly of your right forearm. So your right shoulder is strong. Draw up from your center. Stay connected to your center. See if you can take your right leg to the sky. <sighs> Breathe. Press up with your right foot wherever you're at. Two more breaths. Right shoulder strong, belly strong. Breath is moving and flowing. Good job, my friends. If you have your right leg lifted, bring your right foot to the ground. And then everybody for a moment, just take a little rest. Child's pose or embryo pose. So knees come down, arms can reach forward or back. Breathe into your back body. Reconnect to your deep breaths, your ujjayi breath, that vibrant breath. And then in your next couple of rounds, downward facing dog. <clears throat> Inhale, right leg to the sky. Exhale, peel your right hip open, bend your right knee, squeeze your outer right butt cheek. Try not to sink into your left hand, left shoulder, or left hip. You can stay here or option to flip your dog. So right foot might come down behind you. Lift your right arm, reach forward, turn your heart to look up at the sky. Press your hips up, breathe down into your belly. Take one more big huge breath. End of your exhale, everybody meet in a three-legged dog, so right leg extended high. Big inhale to lengthen. Exhale, right knee, left elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog, take it up. Exhale, right knee, right elbow, or as high as you can get on your arm. Inhale, take it up. Exhale, listen, pigeon pose, right shin forward and set your body down. So take a moment to find your alignment. Pull right hip back, left hip forward. So you hug towards midline, you plug the femur bones into the sockets. Once you've found the strength and the structure of the pose, start to move deeper into the stretch, bow forward. And you're more than welcome to take this pose on your back or in a seat if it will serve you better there. Breathe slow, steady, deep breaths. And 
visualize your breath moving down into your outer right hip. Let whatever is going on outside of the space you are in, let all of that fall away for now. Be with your body, be with your breath. Be with this moment where you are. Give yourself about five or six more rounds. Exhale out your mouth any time. Last about three breaths. I'm going to exhale out my mouth. So I like to think of it as just a release of tension, a release of stuck energy, a release of heaviness. my friends and then let's start to lift our upper bodies now listen you're gonna plant your hands so hands about shoulder width distance apart spread your fingers wide tuck your back toes under and start to scoop your back knee forward so your hips lift up unthread your right leg take it back and give it a nice little shake out Bend your knee, right heel towards your right butt cheek, and take a few circles with your right knee through space. Try to keep everything else very still. Reverse those circles. And now extend your right leg straight back. Your hip faces the ground, so hips are square. Draw your belly button in and up. Press down through both hands. Back of your neck long. Take your left arm forward, so here you are in your spinal balance, strong straight line, not a smiley face shape, strong straight line. Take one more big inhale, pull yourself apart, exhale, bring your left hand down, pivot on your left knee, right arm to the sky, modified side plank. Press your hips forward as you squeeze your outer left butt cheek, keep your right leg strong, press back with your right foot. And then reach your right arm past the top edge of your mat. Create as much length as you can in your right side body. Breathe into that length. This is a great place to stay. Our final option, bend your right knee, reach back, grab hold of your right foot. Kick foot into hand. Pull hand back into foot. See if you can slowly start to rotate your heart towards the sky. Breathe, take about two more breaths. Back muscles hug around your spine. Turn your heart to look up, breathe down into your belly. Now end of your next exhalation, slowly release, unwind. Come back to hands and knees. From your hands and knees, come down to your forearms, setting up for one more dolphin. So grab opposite elbows. Forearms parallel, palms face down, fingers spread wide for less intensity, you can interlace. Relax your neck, press down through your forearms, hug your elbows in, your upper arms in, so they're squeezing in, they're not drifting apart. Now when you're ready, 
curl your toes under, lift your knees, lift your hips, dolphin. Great place to stay. You can stay right here. If you wanna come with me, walk your feet out wide. This time you're gonna take your right hand back to grab the outside of your right ankle. Right hand, right ankle. Left shoulder stays strong, so you don't want your head touching the ground. Keep pressing down with the belly of your left forearm. Slowly extend your left leg to the sky. Stay connected to your center, that's the key. So rather than just kicking your left leg up, move it up slowly with intention. Take two more breaths wherever you're at. Press down through your left forearm. Lift with the power of your core. Use your breath. Woo! One more inhale. Exhale, left foot to the ground. Bring your knees down. Resting pose, child's or embryo. Relax and breathe. And then we will meet back in your next couple of breaths. Downward facing dog. your back and down dog reconnect to your deep breath make it powerful and strong just a little bit longer next inhale left leg to the sky don't shift into your right side so keep both hands rooted both shoulders strong and open up your left hip bend your left knee squeeze your outer left glute so that movement just came from your hip joint rather than from your shoulder girdle. Now you can stay here or option to flip it. Left foot comes down behind you, left arm reaches forward. Turn your heart to look up, press your hips up. Breathe down into your belly, one more round. End of your exhale, everybody three-legged down dog, left leg high, big inhale to lengthen. Exhale, left knee, right elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, left knee, left elbow, or as high as you can get on your arm. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, pigeon posture. So left shin forward and gently set your body down. Left knee all the way towards the outer left edge of your mat. Pull your left hip back, right hip forward. So plug those femur bones into the sockets. We don't want to sink into our joints. We want to stretch our muscles. And then as you're ready, start your bow. Even as you bow forward, your left hip pulls back and up. And then to go deeper, scoot your back knee back a little further. Breathe. Take about five more rounds, four or five more deep breaths. Soften with your exhales.
and last two or three breaths, maybe that open mouth sigh, releasing tension, releasing stuck energy, releasing anything that no longer serves you. Let it go. Ah. And then end of your next exhalation, slowly begin to lift your upper body, plant your palms, spread your fingers, tuck your back toes, scoot your back knee forward, unthread your left leg, three-legged tabletop, give it a gentle shake out. And then bend your left knee, heel towards your butt cheek, flex your toes, take a few circles with your left knee through space. And when you're ready, reverse those circles. Try to keep everything else extremely still. Okay, and then set your left knee down. One more down dog, just to stretch. If you want to take one final vinyasa, go for it. So lengthen through your spine, lengthen through the backs of your legs, broaden through your shoulders. Take one last breath in your down dog. End of your exhale, set your knees down. Let's find our way onto our back. So whatever direction you want to face is fine with me. And then once you're down on your back, draw your knees towards your belly or your chest and just gently rock back and forth side to side. Massage your low back against the ground. And then from here, supine spinal twist. Let both of your knees fall to the right. I like to kind of scoop my hips over to the left side of my mat. And then I'm going to reach my left arm out to the left, gaze over my left shoulder. You can take any variation of a spinal twist that you want to. About four or five rounds, just relaxing with each breath melting more with each exhale. switch to the other side so in your next breath or two just take your time as you come through center to neutralize maybe you give your knees a big squeeze tiny little potato bug ball but you're on your back maybe you just rock gently from side to side then when you're ready knees over to the left right arm out to the right gaze up or over your right shoulder and again any variation you want to take more than welcome. Breathe down into your belly. Relax your face, relax your jaw, relax the inside of your mouth. Feel your breath rise and fall. With each exhale, just give into gravity a little bit more. Take a couple more rounds on this side. Now I'll leave it up to you when you do feel pretty even on both sides with your twist. Come back to center and find a happy baby pose. And you can rock a little bit or explore a little bit. 
Take as many breaths as you would like to in your happy baby. And then if there are any more poses or stretches that are calling to you to complete your own practice for yourself, then give yourself about five or 10 breaths, five to 10 breaths to move through them. And then as you feel ready, absolutely no rush. Just begin transitioning into your final relaxation. So either corpse pose. or any other position that will allow you to fully relax. And have a reading for you guys as you settle in. It's by Young Pueblo. Movements change the world, but just as it is important to be a part of and build movements to create a world where human rights are a reality for all, a world where systemic forms of social and economic oppression no longer exist, so it is equally important to build our own intimate internal movement that focuses on healing the greed, hatred, and fear within ourselves that cause so much chaos in our lives and are the actual underlying roots of the societal chaos we experience. Every society is simply a composition of its individuals believing, consenting to, and perpetuating particular stories that come together to create the world we know. If the stories we choose to believe in change, if the stories we choose to believe in change, if we begin to understand that when we harm another, we are actually harming ourselves, not in a fi fictional sense, but in a literal sense, similar to the way that water is good for the body and poison is bad, then we will quickly shift into a new world. So sometimes when we watch the news, it is overwhelming. There is a lot that comes up. There's anger, there's frustration. There's this want to control what we really cannot control. So we have the power to change our inner landscape, to do our internal work, to focus on our inner healing. And if everybody in this world would do their own internal healing, our entire world would change, it would shift, we would have new stories to believe in. So although we can't necessarily change the world, we can change ourselves, And that's where the change starts. So start with you being more present with yourself, more honest with yourself. Do your own internal work create your own internal healing. And from that, you will find love. You will find love for yourself and for others, even when you don't understand them. So I know everything right now seems a little bit crazy, but can you just start with you? Breathe into this moment in your body with yourself. And just know that whatever is unfolding is what is meant to be and everything will always be okay. No matter how okay looks, it will always be okay and you are okay. So rest in this moment, feel safe inside your body in this moment and just allow whatever comes to come.
whatever goes to go. And I will leave you here. Take as much time as you have, as much time as you can to just simply rest and just be. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Namaste.